In this video, I'm going to go over a NeoFetch alternative called FastFetch. And if you found the video on YouTube, I will provide a link below the video that has a description of it and how you can install it on your system. And if you have something other than what I have as an operating system, I have links where you can install it on other platforms as well. But let's take a look at what it is. FastFetch is a NeoFetch uh, looking tool or a NeoFetch like tool for fetching system information and displaying them in a pretty way or a graphical way. And here's once you get it installed, you just type FastFetch at the terminal and it will create ASCII art displaying a symbol of the operating system that you're using and it will give you some system information very similar to NeoFetch and in a few moments I'll compare NeoFetch with FastFetch and the name FastFetch it does fetch the information faster than NeoFetch does now installing it on your system uh, if you have Ubuntu uh, or any of the Ubuntu derivatives, Ubuntu 22.04 or newer, you need to install the PPA because if you try to install it like this right here, it will have some older dependencies, so you need the newest version. So you can add the PPA by going to this link and copying and pasting here, and as you can see, it stays updated. Uh, the last time it was updated was the 8th month of 26 of 2024, which was not long ago, it, so it's a very updated uh, piece of software. So you can just copy and paste this if you have Ubuntu 22.04 newer, then update your repositories. Now with the newest versions, you can just put this in there and then say sudo apt install fetch, fast fetch. Now for other uh, platforms, you can click choose the GitHub link here, and once it loads, you can go down to other platforms. Uh, you can choose what version of Linux you have. If you have a Mac system, you can install it here, or Windows system. You can also go to the releases section here. Uh, which if you click the releases here it shows you all the releases and if you go down it will have installation files there's the dev file so if you have Ubuntu or Debian based system uh, for AMD 64 the Arch 64 dev files here there's the RPM files and if you want to install it for Windows or Mac you can simply click the down error as you can see they spend a lot of time uh, creating an installation file for each platform uh, that you can inst a variety of platforms. Now, if you decide that you don't want it, you can go and remove fast fetch by removing the command and then removing the PPA to get it off your system. Now, now let's compare fast fetch to NeoFetch. So I'm going to open up the terminal, and I'm going to actually open up two terminals side by side. I'm going to come over here and put uh, NeoFetch. Then I'm going to come over here and put fast fetch. Now let me click the NeoFetch, and I'm not going to compare them at the same time. But watch how long it takes. So this one here, as you can see, it's populating the information. When I click fast fetch, it's instantly has the information on your system. Now when you look at the two, they're very similar. They have the similar information, but fast fetch actually has a little bit more information uh, than uh, NeoFetch. So if you're looking for a NeoFetch alternative, I recommend you to give fast fetch a try. Hopefully this video will be beneficial to someone and have a great day.